everybody. Welcome back to the Sports Place, where we talk sports and have sports debates. Go ahead and hit like and subscribe below, and let's get the show started. Okay, so there have been some reports that Julio Jones would rather play with Cam Newton over Matt Ryan. What do you guys think about that? One, before we even start, I know that things look a little different, you know what I mean? <laughs> you got Jason back on set. Let's give my man a warm welcome. I'm happy to have my guy back. And for that reason, Jason, take it away. Let us let me hear what you want to feel about this Julio Jones situation. All right. So anybody who's been watching the sports place for a while, y'all know how I feel about Cam Newton. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know Cam Newton is my guy. You know, shout out to Cam. Uh, hopefully he can tell some of his viewers on, uh, what is it, Sip and Smoke or whatever. You need to tell <laughs> them to come over and watch the sports place where we big him up all the time. Um, but I, I think there have been a lot of people out there who have been like, you know, because part of what Julio Jones said was that, or allegedly said, was that uh, he thought Matt Ryan had lost some zip on his deep ball and that Cam Newton, he wanted to play with Cam Newton. Now, first of all, that's understandable. Julio Jones, who's from Alabama, played at Alabama, and then you have uh, Cam Newton, who he played against at Auburn. So they have that kind of connection, that SEC connection. In addition to that, uh, Julio Jones plays in Atlanta, and Cam Newton is from Atlanta. So I'm sure that they run into one another and cross paths. Uh, reports are that they're probably friends, if, you know, if not at least friendly, um, and I would be surprised if Julio Jones being living in Atlanta and Cam Newton living in Atlanta, that they haven't, you know, he hasn't caught some balls from Cam Newton. You know what I mean? Now, granted, not with defense, not with guys rushing Cam Newton, not in, not in shoulder pads and helmets, but I, I would not be surprised if he's caught some balls from Cam Newton. So all of the people out there, all these sports geniuses who go around talking about, oh, well, has he seen Cam Newton throw a football and blah, 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 blah. Let's break it down by the stats, right? So last season, Cam Newton completed 65.8% of his passes. Um, now, when we look at Matt Ryan, he also completed 65% of his passes. But only one of them had Calvin Ridley and Julio Jones. Cam Newton had Jacoby Myers. Now, Jacoby Myers is a good receiver. He's a good receiver, but he is not Julio Jones or Calvin Ridley. You know, so we have to understand that uh, this person, Julio Jones, who has caught balls from both of these guys, has confidence that Cam Newton can still throw the ball and Cam Newton, particularly Cam Newton with the fixed mechanics, um, you know, after the shoulder surgery, Tom House, who is a throwing guru, who I think we should have on the show at some point. He liked one of my things on Twitter, so I'm going to hit him up uh, <laughs> to have him on your show. But uh, Tom House said Cam Newton's going to be a beast this season because now that he's completed, uh, you know, a year – Back in the NFL, he didn't get a chance to focus on his mechanics. Now that he's focused on his throwing mechanics, that he's going to be incredible because he's just a physical specimen in a way that someone like Matt Ryan or a lot of these other uh, quarterbacks are not. Um, the traditional old school quarterbacks, not talking about the Kyler Murrays or the, you know, the uh, Robert Mahomes, you know, Mahomes or uh, Josh Allen's or any of those guys. <laughs> You know, Cam Newton was the prototype for those kinds of guys. Uh, just physically gifted, not just somebody who's like a, a baseball pitcher who can throw the ball. Um, so I, I think that he would be great up there in um, in uh, New England. I think with Cam Newton taking pressure off of the receivers because he can do things with his legs, I mean, that's a nightmare for a defense. If Cam Newton can actually, you know, get his mechanics right, 
throw the ball accurately like he did last season, but also, you know, get the ball, you know, in the guy's hands in the red zone. Julio Jones, a healthy Julio Jones is going to get that separation. You know, you got Jacoby Myers, who's still a good receiver. You got these two, you know, you got Janu Smith. You know, when you're when you're uh, looking to get in the seam and get those like 15 yard routes and stuff like that. Um, you got these, uh, you know, two really good tight ends. You got, um, you know, Nelson Aguilar for a deep threat. That right there is a dynamite, um, you know, a dynamite setup. And I think the real reason, let's be honest, and I hope uh, that my man Julio Jones doesn't see this and get it. Well, I hope he does see this, actually. That would be amazing. <laughs> You know, the seven of you who are watching, make sure you get it to Julio Jones. Julio Jones, um, I really believe, wants to leave because he got hurt and Calvin Ridley emerged. Now there's a question about who is Matt Ryan's number one target? So it may not be that Matt Ryan has lost all that zip on the ball. He still threw for 4,500 yards or whatever last season. It may not be Matt Ryan. It's am I Matt Ryan's favorite anymore? You know, when Calvin Ridley just caught for 1,300 yards. So you got to think about all of that. Um, when you know you're, you may not be the number one guy or you may be 1A, but there's a 1B right behind you and you're going to get fewer targets and all of that, you might want to go somewhere else, especially with a guy that you know that, you know, you don't smoke cigars with and sip, you know, a little cognac and, and had conversations with and y'all both have that southern accent and you want to see a brother succeed all those kinds of things you know you might want to leave Atlanta after you've seen that Matt Ryan is like oh you know what yes we went four and 12 but I can trust this guy's hands just as much as I can trust yours and I think that's one of the reasons why Julio Jones wants out all right so I'm gonna disagree with your I agree with you and this with you but I'm going to disagree with your last reason. At the end of the day, Julio was Julio. We haven't seen many Julios in this league, and you probably won't see many more. If he comes back, it doesn't matter if Calvin Ridley's there. Yes, Calvin Ridley did his thing, but that's because Julio wasn't there. If Julio was there, you wouldn't have that same season. You know what I'm saying? DJ Moore, my guy from Maryland who drafted before Calvin Ridley, you know they was comparing each other to that. DJ Moore has been more consistent in what he does than Calvin has. And I'm wholeheartedly, yes, yes. He hasn't he he hasn't go he hasn't DJ. a thousand yards yet. He hasn't gone in a thousand yards yet. DJ Moore, consistent, yes, my guy. But we're not talking about DJ right now. We back to the Julio. Julio is always going to be Julio. But I do agree with you that it'll be a great situation with Cam because they're going to make each other look great. Cam could throw the ball five feet higher in the air, and Julio can still go get it. You know what I'm saying? They can make each other look good. Julio's going to attack the ball. He can run the slants that the Patriots always run and then break it a thousand yards down the field. He fixed that mode of what they usually do, but he also can take it deep now. And he also can get the reverse now. You know what I mean? There's so much you can do with Julio on your team. So I do agree that that would be a great fit that he can bring into the numbers going to go up, every, the wins go up. You got to change. People want to have to pinpoint on Julio and open up more guys on the defense, on the offense now. So if he goes there, yes, it's a great situation. But I feel like that last reason, I don't think he's worried about uh, Calvin Ridley at all. I don't think Julio is worried about anybody. He's already set. He already has Hall of Fame numbers. You know what I mean? So for him to be worried about another receiver taking his spot or taking his shine, that, that would never happen in my eyes. That's like Devontae Adams being worried about uh, what's the, one of the other receivers. Any other receiver on the Packers, you know what I'm saying? If he gets hurt, he's going to still be Devontae Adams because his numbers he put up in the past. Would he come back the same? That's going to be a question. But nobody's going to be questioning what he's done or compared to anybody who's not on his level yet. So that's where we disagree. But, yes, Cam and Julio, I would love to see that. You know what I mean? Two big-name guys, two literally big guys, you know what I'm saying? You you rarely see that. You haven't seen a guy like Julio since Calvin Johnson, you know what I mean? DK is cool. AJ Brown's cool, but – Julio was in a class of his own for seasons and continuously doing it. So as far as you claiming that Calvin situation, your opinion is your opinion. Your opinion is valid. Just not valid to me. Bimmy, let me know what you think. <laughs> um, I think the notion of Cam and 
Julio Jones playing together on the same team is a fun idea. Um, I don't. I think a better idea is for Julio Jones to go over to Arizona and play with D Hop, who said I'll restructure my contract for you, so we can all play together with Kyler Murray and tear up the league. Um, because you can just throw the ball up to me. I'm D Hop. I'll catch it from you know from wherever it is. <laughs> now you have Julio Jones as an option on the other side. Um, I know that means D Hop doesn't care about being the number one if you're if you're number one or if you're one A or one B if you're one A or one B with Julio Jones you, you know that's kind of like apples to apples at that point um, I think going up to I think it's a great a better idea because you're staying within the dome um, you're going from dome to dome as as opposed to going from dome to outdoor from warm not warm weather but from a controlled temperature to New England where it snows and that does affect the play um, to going from um, a quarterback where Cam Newton is on a short lease because even if he does great this year, they're going to trade him. Um, they have Mac Jones. They already have their backup plan in play. Um, so I don't think Cam is spending uh, a significant time, a significant amount of time in New England for Julio Jones to go there and to, you know, blow away one season. And then, you know, now you got to deal with Mac Jones and not that that's, not that that's a bad thing, but it's not a winning combination necessarily because you still have the Buffalo Bills right there. Um, so I don't think that's a great combination. Um, my, my pick, if he goes anywhere, is still Arizona. Like I, when I saw that um, little tweet um, thing that was went out, I was like, you know what? That makes sense. And if he's really willing to restructure the contract, like you do it while you're young so you can get your Super Bowl ring and then you get the money later. So he's like, yo, let's get this ring. Um, we can't get Tom. So we, we, we're going to build the next best thing uh, in Arizona. So I, I don't – it'll be a fun notion for him to play with Cam, but that's all it would be. Fun. It won't be a championship season. It won't be a record-breaking season. It won't. It wouldn't be anything other than a really good time. So, <laughs> <laughs> hey, one thing I'm gonna disagree. D Hop already got the money. It doesn't really matter about the money at this point. Like, yeah. like and when is the last time we seen a receiver tandem like that? I'm glad you brought up that point because I forgot that he tweeted that. Yeah. And to see, I'd rather see them two together than Cam. And Julio, I'm sorry, Jason. I know you love Cam. Hey, listen, <laughs> hey, listen, bro. That is my brain pop like Odell and, and Jarvis, but like Super Saiyan mode. You know what I mean? Like, it's crazy. Like, if we see yeah. that, it's rare. Yeah. We probably won't. But if we were to, like, that would definitely be amazing. That's a sight to see. Like Hail Mary's end of the game. Huh, just throw it up. They can grab it at the same time. Versus like, Seattle versus Richard Sherman. Sherman. <laughs> it would be it would be mind blowing. Like who would you who would you cover? Who would you cover? And then, it, even if you cover them both, yeah. let's say God's grace, you drop eight people back and you rush three. You still gotta uh, uh, yeah. listen, <laughs> Cam Cam. First of all, Bill Belichick loves Cam Newton. If Cam uh can take them to win the division and at least win a playoff game. <laughs> then I you're believe, asking a lot. I believe the, you, you're asking a lot from the Patriots defense right now. <laughs> That's yeah. what you're asking for. Well, it's well you got to remember last year they had all those opt outs. Those people are coming back now. Yeah. Ooh, they, you know but, what I mean? But that, that whole, they, they got to regain that chemistry. They got to learn Cam now. Like it's a whole, they still, and they basically back in the same space. You know what I mean? Those guys that been there, they got to relearn a new guy. Yeah, but I'm saying Cam Newton is he's got a leash if he can extend his own leash. Like, it's not the fact that they are like Mac Jones, Mac Jones. We, we You know, if they wanted Mac Jones that bad, they would have traded up to get him. He fell in their lap, and they were like, you know, Cam didn't necessarily do exactly what we were looking for last season, so we'll take Mac Jones. He's our insurance policy. But if Cam plays and balls out, then, then I think – Cam stays, Mac Jones goes, and he's a high, he's a high level uh trade. You can get some some value for him. Look, man, we gonna have to agree to disagree on this topic here because we know how much you love Cam. And 
We love our fans. I know you guys are happy to see Jason back. We are too. We hope to see you back next week on the Sports Place. Make sure you like, subscribe. If you want Jason back more, drop some comments so he can uh, trot back into our little sessions. You know what I mean? He, I think he got big time forgot about us. But it's all good. We don't have no love lost for my guy, man. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and all that. We'll be here next time.